there, this is Darren, founder of Density. Sit back and enjoy this Density Lens episode, where we distill the best advice from digital experts and help real estate professionals like you to build an effective online presence and become the best version of yourself. This is one of the many parts of the full interview we had with 4HK, our trusted marketing agency to give you a broad stroke on digital marketing, specifically to the real estate sector. We break the episodes up so you can find specific titles that may interest you. You can find the full interview and more about the guests in the show notes or our blog, www.density.io slash blog. As always, you can find everything we mentioned in this episode in the show notes, including our thoughts, more about the guests, and all the tips and tricks. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button like you mean it to get our regular updates. Now, take a deep breath and buckle up for the show. Hope you enjoy. So basically a marketing funnel, uh, basically uh, to understand your customers, um, and it's actually better, to, it saves a lot of time on both sides of the party, uh, meaning you know, the clients will get to know or understand your brand a lot more and easier. Uh, and for the clients itself, um, they, they get to understand the customers a lot better. Um, and using an example is that um, if you're going to a mall and you know, you're looking to buy sneakers, um, you know, quite often you would just go to the concierge and ask, you know, where's the nearest you know, sneaker shop? Um, so that being said, you know, the concierge plays a role of you know, a funneling process where they point the chopper into the right direction. Um, and quite similarly, if you actually have a brand in mind, for example, if you want a specific brand, you know, you also go to the concierge and the concierge tells you, you know, specifically where that store is. And it saves you a lot of time because you don't have to browse around, you don't have to look around. And kind of translating that to the online world, basically, if you go to a website, um, and obviously the website could be you know, very easy, navigate it could be very complicated. So having someone there as a chatbot or you know, a customer service, um, they can actually point them in the right direction, basically going to your website. Um, someone who's never heard of your website, never heard of your brand, you know, probably going to the about us, going to you know, what your story or your vision is, um, would kind of inform them a lot more about what you're doing. Versus someone that actually you know, is ready to engage with your brand, you know, ready to kind of convert. You can point them in you know, the checkout page, you know, so that actually speeds up the whole process. And the cool thing about having a, you know, a funneling process is that you get to know exactly where, what stage each customer is at, and then you can have specific messaging or targeting to that specific and kind of move them to the end, end funnel, mm-hmm. which is obviously being their customers at the end. I, I guess it's interesting because a lot of my friends when I talk about funnel and they interpret it as like, well, Darren, what are we talking about? What, what's most BS and stuff like that? Just like have a website and then say you're interested or not. Yeah. But I think it's, now I talk about the whole thing is that there's actually more process in between. You gotta build to nurture that and make them interest. Yeah. So I think, so on that regard, obviously that is one of the mistakes. Is there any other mistakes that people usually do when talking about funnel or building that whole transition and process for the audience? You know, that's a good question. I think um, as a marketer or as like website builders, a lot of the times, like we're so caught up with the whole website, um, we often neglect like how easy it is to find information because obviously being the owner of a developer of the website, you go, oh, I know where to find this information. Oh, I know where to go. But, you know, for someone that's completely new that comes to the brand, they probably would need like a lot of time to kind of figure out where they should go. So having that, that I mentioned that funnel is kind of, letting them to find the right information like very easily. So it's, it's a really quick way for them to kind of understand your brand and your value. Um, and just, just going back to the question, like how to actually apply it. I think in a sense like you have to have someone to give them a very personalized or bespoke experience. So having a you know, sales team or a support team online um, really gives them that way of like trying to help them. So it's nothing like very candid or very you know, template. So having someone, like a real person, to, to help out with any questions, inquiries, or just navigating through the online world, it's going to be a big help in you know, driving sales. Thanks for watching. You know, majority of you don't stick around this far. So we're flattered and truly appreciate your attention. To return the favor, let us tell you our thought on this episode. The marketing funnel is a simple but powerful concept. I'm glad the 4HK team has touched on this subject. Also, I like the analogy of going to shopping malls to find a shop that sells sneakers. Using this analogy can help you think about the necessary steps it would take to attract the right audiences. My advice for you on this topic is to draw the whole marketing 
funnel on a whiteboard and think clearly how to take your target audiences from one layer to another. From the exercise, you might start thinking strategies like how does my prospect be interested to learn or find out? Or how to track the performance? Fascinating stuff. We have a more detailed version of our thoughts in the show notes. Beside that, you can find more about the guests and all the tips and tricks we have mentioned in the show notes too. Well, what do you think? Let us know in the comments section. Fun fact, do you know that more than 85% of you have subscribed to this show yet? Subscribe now to keep getting good stuff from us. Thanks for watching. What do you think of this episode? Please let us know in the comment below and be sure to hit the subscribe button to keep in touch with us for upcoming videos. But before we go, I want to give a big shout out to Patina Design Lab. They're the one who help us in making our brand, our direction, as well as these videos. They are a strategic design consultancy firm to help businesses with a wide range of design services, from industrial design, branding, graphic design, art direction, content creation, and many more. They are a very talented bunch, and I urge you to check out their website for their work. That's all for today, and see you next time. Cheers.